Excellent. All right, so we're going to balance this in basic conditions. There's different ways to do this. If you're comfortable already with the way your instructor taught you, then uh, don't worry about this. You can kind of do it parallel with me. Uh, I just happen to have a particular method of doing it. For the basic method, what I do is I also solve the acidic answer first and then go to the basic second. Okay? Uh, it just allows you to do the same technique over and over again so that you don't have to confuse yourself with different techniques. Uh, but if you don't like this, that's totally fine. Do whatever the heck you want. Okay, so we have the dichromate, Cr2O7, 2 minus, goes to the chromium plus. So I'm first I'm splitting up into half reactions. And then the other one is the C2H5OH goes to CO2. Okay, there's that stuff. Now I want to balance it. I'm just going to balance one at a time. So I'll just start with the top one. I have four steps, if you want to know my method. First step is to balance anything that is not oxygen or hydrogen. Balance anything that's not oxygen or hydrogen. So if you have two chromiums, I better put a two right there. That's the first step. Second step, so there's four steps. Second step is to fix the oxygen. So if there's an oxygen, and you can easily skip these steps if there's no, say, oxygen. But top one there is, there's seven on the left. So to balance oxygen, you've got to use water. So plus 7 H2O. Let me know if I make a math mistake here. Okay. Then the third step is to balance the hydrogen. You use that, balance that with H plus. So there's 14 on the right hand side. So on the left hand side, I better add 14 H plus. What's the phase of H plus? Aqueous. Yeah, if it has a charge, it's aqueous unless it's an electron. Okay. So let's see, we did have, last step, step four is to balance the charge. Step four is to balance the charge, you do that with electrons. At this moment, what's the overall charge on the left hand side? 12, 14 minus 2, on the right hand side. Not 3, 6, 2 times 3, because there's two chromiums. So since there's 12 here, and I think you said 6 there, so I better put plus uh, 6 electrons. Okay. The electrons usually, almost always, will go on the same side as the H+. So that's a little thing you can remember. All right, top one's done. Let's do the bottom one. First step, balance anything that's not hydrogen or oxygen. That's carbon. So two carbons on each side, you balance that by inspection. Second step, you balance the oxygen. So there's, let's see, four on the right and only one on the left. So I need to add three waters. To have the same number of oxygens on each side. Third step, balance the hydrogen. There are zero hydrogens on the right, and six plus six, 12. If I got that right. So plus 12 H plus. Last is balance the electrons. Zero on the left, on the right, it's 12 plus. So plus 12 electrons. Fantastic. Okay, now, what we're going to do is add this up. Somebody asked me about simultaneous reactions. These are them. This is why you learned that in chapter 3. Simultaneous to these are happening at the same time. Whenever you have two simultaneous reactions, you need to cancel out all intermediates. They cannot uh, appear in your overall reaction. So we're about to add this up. What's our intermediate? Electrons are always an intermediate when you're doing redox, so they need to cancel. They must cancel. 12 electrons here, 6 there. I guess I'm going to multiply the top by 2. The bottom I'll leave as is, so that all the electrons are going to cancel. So now I have two dichromates, 2 minus. So I'm going to do all the reactants first, plus 28, fantastic, H plus, plus C2H5OH, this is ethanol. Uh, plus three waters. Okay, I think I got everything on the reactant side. Now all the products. Four Cr, the chromium three ion, plus 14 waters, uh, plus two CO2s, plus 12, oops, 12 H plus, and I think that's all the product, uh, products there. So let's cancel out stuff. Usually what's going to cancel out is either water or H plus. So we've got three waters here, cancels out with 14 here to make 11. 
Mas dá pra aguiar. Oh, why did I, oh, we haven't got to the basic part. Uh, we multiply this by 2 to get 2 times 6, 12 electrons. And there's 12 electrons here. So we want those electrons to cancel, and you'll see there's not any here, which is fantastic. You need that. That's fine. It's only to get rid of electrons. H plus, there's 12 here with 28 here. 28 from 12, what's that, 16? Good, good. 16, I think that's it. So here's the acidic answer. Two dichromates plus 16 H plus plus an ethanol goes to four chromium three ions plus 11 waters plus two carbon dioxide. Okay. All right. So that's the acidic answer. If I ask for the acidic answer, that would be it. By the way, what's the phase? What's the phase of this one right there, the dichromate? Aqueous, it has a charge. That's aqueous. This is going to be a liquid it was given in earlier. What's the phase of CO2? Gas. Carbon dioxide is gas. You should know that one. Okay. So now, to do the, what I do when I'm doing this last step here, I identify the H+, plus. it's right there. I know it's acidic when there's H+, plus. I need to get rid of that. So what I'm going to do is add the same number of hydroxides to each side. There's 16 H pluses, so I'm adding 16 hydroxides to both sides. So now, let me rewrite it. You'll see what happens. Two dichromates uh, plus ethanol, C2H5OH, plus 16 H plus 16 OH is 16 waters. Make sure you don't write 32 waters. 16 waters. Now, on the right-hand side, 4 Cr3 plus, plus 11, oops, 11, ah, right, H11, H2O, plus uh, 2 CO2, plus 16 OH minus. Okay, now I just have to simplify. Uh, there's 16 and 11 waters, so that cancels out to make 5. So now I just re-add it. I'm just simplifying right now. 2 dichromates. And given I haven't made a math answer, I'm about to the end. Plus 5 waters. I know I'm going to have my basic answer now uh, because I have hydroxides. Whenever you see a hydroxide, that's an indication that you have a base. There you go. You put all the phases back in, but otherwise you're done. That's the basic answer. So what I do, I always do acidic first and then add OH to get the basic answer. Yeah? You can do it. There's other, plenty of other ways to do it. It's just the way I do it. Okay, any questions on that? Okay, let's go to our next topic. We'll stop the tape.